In this video, we're going to be looking at differentiating polynomials. And we're just going to get into the practice of making sure, well, that we've got this sorted. So let's start off with something absolutely horrible looking. Okay, so here is an absolutely horrible looking polynomial, and I want to differentiate it. So using the skill that we learned in the previous video, um, what we're going to be trying to do is making sure the power comes down to the front and you take one off the power. So the 8 comes down to the front, take one off the power. So x to the 8 becomes 8x to the 7. For this second term, the 6 comes down to the front and multiplies with the 3 to make 18, and you take 1 off the power. For the third term, the 3 comes down to the front, multiplies with the 5 to make 15, and 1 comes off the power. The fourth term, the 2 comes down to the front, multiplies with the 7 to make 14, and 1 comes off the power. 5x differentiates just to 5, and the 8 differentiates to 0. So you end up with 8x to the 7 plus 18x to the 5, take away 15x squared plus 14x plus 5. Okay? And that is how you can differentiate a polynomial of any size. So let's see a couple more examples. Okay, it's just so that we can see how this would work. Let's say we've got something like y is equal to x times 18 plus 5x cubed. Okay, so we had something like this. Now, it is very important that when you are dealing with core 1 differentiation and you're dealing with something that looks like this, you multiply out the brackets. Okay, we do not currently have the techniques that are required in order to differentiate it as is. So multiply out the brackets, it's very important. So first of all, y is equal to 18x plus 5x to the 4. And then just differentiate it as normal. So dy by dx would be 18 uh, plus 20x cubed. Okay? Now the same thing applies to when we need to differentiate something like 5 minus x squared x, uh, let's have 3x cubed plus 2. So we had something like this. Then, first of all, multiply out the brackets, so we get 15x cubed uh, plus 10 minus 3x to the 5 minus 2x squared. Once it's been expanded like that, you are ready to differentiate. dy by dx is equal to 3 lots of 15 is 45, x squared. The 10 differentiates to 0. Then we've got minus 15x to the 4, and then minus 4x to the 1, or just four, minus 4x. Four and that is how we have differentiated it. Okay? So always expand the brackets. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we've got something like y is equal to 3x squared plus 9x cubed minus uh, 5x all over 2x. Okay, so this looks absolutely horrific. But break the problem down into stages. We do not have currently a way of differentiating this with this fraction of x. So you must split it up into individual terms. So you have 3x squared over 2x plus 9x cubed over 2x, minus 5x over 2x. And then, 
we can write 3x squared over 2x as 3 halves x, because we have 3 over 2, and we put the x squared divided by x is just x. You've got an x cubed divided by x is x squared, so you've got 9 halves x squared. And then you've got x divided by x is 1, so you're just left with minus 5 halves. Then you are ready to differentiate. It is only then, okay? So we've got 3 halves x, we'll differentiate to 3 halves. You've got 9 halves times the 2, so that's just 9x. And then the minus 5 halves will differentiate to 0. And that is what you are left with, 3 halves plus 9x. So this is how you deal with, with increasing difficulty from polynomials to expanding brackets to dealing with things that look, well, with these rational functions that you can simplify into polynomials.